hello students today we are going to start exercise 7.3 see here in triangle abc and dbc these two triangles are there abc and dbc these both are isosceles triangles on the same base bc base is the same for both the triangles and vertices a and d are on the same side of bc vertices a and d on the same side are on the same side if ad is extended to intersect b if ad we will extend and it will intersect bc at p then show that triangle abd these four parts we have to prove first of all we have to prove congruency which triangles we have to prove congruent we will start from there so let's start first of all we will try in triangle a b d and triangle a c d clear these two triangles they said to prove congruent that we will take now see in these triangles a b equals to a c that is given because they said that isosceles triangle then b d is equal to d c that is also given because they this triangle d p c also they said this is isosceles so this side will equal to this one side this side is equal to this side clear we have taken triangle a b d a b d this and a c d a c d this one triangle a d is common in both so we can write a d is equal to a d that is common so by s s s congruency triangle a b d congruent to triangle a c d so these both triangles are congruent if these triangles are congruent then we can say that these two angles angle 1 name give here name give angle 2 these two triangles are congruent then these two angles will also equal so we can write here therefore angle 1 equal to angle 2 if angle 1 is equal to angle 2 then we can say that ad bisect angle a so we can write therefore ad bisects angle a clear up to this this was the first part which we have proved now come on second part in the second part they said prove triangle abp and acp so we will take in triangle abp and triangle acp abp acp these two triangles we have to prove now see there same ab is equal to ac that is given because triangles are isosceles angle 1 is equal to angle 2 we have proved ap is equal to ap common clear so we can write by sas congruency triangle abp congruent to triangle acp these two triangles are congruent if these two triangles are congruent then we can say that bp is equal to pc this bp is equal to pc therefore bp equals to pc okay by cpct one thing more we can write angle apb is equal to angle apc that also same reason by cpct clear but as we know these both angles are on same line straight line which angles are on a straight line they are making a linear pair so sum of linear pair is 180 degree so we can write angle APB plus angle APC is equal to 180 degree linear pair. 
the both these both linear pair so apb is equal to apc so on place of apb apc also we can write apb so two times apb 180 degree so angle a p b is equal to 180 by 290 degree angle a p b we have proved 90 if we have proved angle a p b 90 degree then we can say that a p is perpendicular to b c okay now see in a triangle a b d and triangle ACD. These two triangles are ABD, ACD. In these two triangles, we can see that these angles will be also equal. Angle 3 and angle 4. Angle 3 is equal to angle 4 by CPCT because we have proved these two triangles are congruent. Now see angle 5 is equal to angle 1 plus angle 3 see here this is angle 5 this is angle 6 next see i have written angle 5 is equal to angle 1 plus angle 3 see here this is i have given name to this angle angle 5 and this i have given angle 6 but how i have written that angle 5 is equal to angle 1 plus 3 see here one property is there in a triangle which outer angle is there some of this outer angle suppose this is angle 1 angle 2 angle 3 angle 4 outer angle is equal to sum of other two this we will not take because this is a, this is con consecutive to this since they both are combined that we will not take but we have to take other two so angle 4 is equal to angle 1 plus angle 2 so that is the property of triangle that outer angle is equal to sum of other two inner angle other two we have to take not that which is uh, which is uh, near to this that we will not take other two we have to take so that same i have written there angle 5 is equal to angle 1 plus 3 same i can write angle 4 6 is equal to angle 2 plus angle 4 we can write here exterior angle property so we have to write here exterior angle property clear so now see here give name 1 and 2 now we can write to subtract 1 and 2 angle 5 minus angle 6 angle 1 plus angle 3 minus angle 2 minus angle 4 angle 1 and angle 2 equal because we have written here angle 1 is equal to angle 2 so we can cut these both angle 3 equals to angle 4 we can cut these both angle 5 minus angle 6 is equal to 0 angle 5 is equal to angle 6 now see if angle 5 is equal to angle 6 it means we can say that AP bisects angle D that we have already proved that AD bisects angle A. Now we have proved that AP bisects angle D also. So we can write there. Therefore, AP bisects angle A as well as angle D. One thing more we have said and AP perpendicular BC. We have proved that AP perpendicular BC so here we have proved AP perpendicular BC if AP is perpendicular BC so we can write there therefore AP is a perpendicular bisector of BC clear so all parts we have proved